Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season two, episode three of The Expanse. This episode is called Static. I'm trying to think what that could mean. I mean, the implication is like, I guess, radio static. Could they be trying to contact someone and all they're getting is static, like Eros, for example? Oh, uh, I'm really, really, well, I'm sounding like a broken record at the beginning of all, all of these videos now because all there is to say is I'm really, really enjoying the ride. I haven't got much more to say about the, the last episode that we watched because I'm in pretty much the same place I was when we stopped watching. And I really, probably why so many leaders in that situation would have probably gone with Dresden and Mao because it's just a numbers game at that point. If they're wrong, they've cost a hundred thousand lives in the case of picking the Dresden route. But if they're wrong and the Dresden guys are right, then there are 30 billion lives. And because most of us are never in the position where we have to pick those, um, I think it's far easier for us to default to what would be morally right. What Miller did was morally right in that moment, I think, to just shut the whole shit down. I think I would have been probably darker than Miller. I think I would have had Dresden explain who was behind it. I would have wanted to know what was going on and I'd have made him tell me right there with a gun pointing to his head and then I'd have shot him. That's, that's what I came down to in the end. The reason I would have taken that course personally is because all too often in history, people run this gamut. There's always this awesome terrifying threat which justifies us losing elements of our humanity and you lose one it makes it easier to lose two it makes it easier to lose three by the time you get to four it's like it's not even a tough call anymore because you're so used to making that compromise it doesn't even occur as a chore or a, a conflict anymore so i would have accepted taking that risk on the basis that I think constantly knee-jerking to provocations of fear has has done at least as much damage in um in kind of our history as taking the opposite course of action ever has does that mean I think I'm right no that's the whole point of saying I would take the risk that I was wrong because I'm way happier to sleep at night with that decision than than anything else so that would be my that's where i came down to in my kind of mental mind work about it so you're yeah, really not far off miller but i really would have wanted more information about what was going on before and i think fred had queued that up already so i don't think dresden was about to escape that second we had a couple of minutes where we could have we could have got that information out I'm really interested to see the fallout now from that because Fred Johnson looked genuinely dumbstruck. Like he was looking at Miller like, I can't, I can't. Complete shock. Jim looked terrified in the first instance because I think he, it was actually a really great example of reacting. I think from the actors and that because neither of them had lines but everyone reacted in their own way and I quite like Jim immediately pulling his gun because he just assumed them you know someone was shooting from somewhere and then seeing seeing Miller I can't this is going to be really interesting watching them try to work this out I'm pretty sure everyone is going to be really pissed at Miller and they're justified I think even if they're wrong because of course they would be like if if those guys had acted against Miller's wishes he would have been pissed at them so um you can expect the characters to have that kind of a reaction I'm not sure if we're gonna go get to Eros this episode um but I'm hoping we can get there you know for the sort of mid-season maybe 
I really want to see what's going on. I have an idea that it's going to be catastrophic. We've also got Fred Johnson's conversation with Avasarala, which is going to happen, may happen this episode. It was queued up last episode. What are they going to have to say to each other? I mean, at least what Fred can now say to her is that they find this dark outpost and these scientists and maybe they can save the data yeah i think i'm going to draw it to a close there for my introduction because i actually really just want to get on and watch the episode now so without further ado let's have at it oh my god there is so much going on right now there's the attack on the martian moon there's the, still that scientist alive fuck whoa whoa what oh no they're attacking the moon no no i don't like this at all oh there are people there all 17 people in the station were killed instantly the massive explosion our goddamn sky i always knew earth would strike first Right, Arthur? Oh, fuck off! What do you call me? Oh, you heard me. Not today! You hear me, soldier? I will not have you disrespecting a fellow Martian. He's got as much dust in his blood as the rest of us. Thank you. Who do we fight for? Mars! Suit up. We need to train. War is coming. I'm not kidding. I'm five minutes away from signing up with Mars on this. Can you imagine what it would be like to lose the moon? Our moon. To never see it in the night sky again. It's not the same. What about the tide? No, fuck the view, it's the tide. We have enough ships to shoot theirs down. We could knock Mars out of our sky for good. If they continue to force their hand, sooner or later, they will invade. This could be our last chance to win, Christian. It's like you always said. Earth must come first. Oh my God, this is so shit. In this situation, I'm totally with Mars. What a load of bullshit. It's like any kind of um, post-colonial situation. I mean, you know, the history of the United States. There's only so long you can take this bullshit from your, uh, from your colonial master before you go, fuck off. I'm totally with Mars saying fuck off at this point. This title sequence really is good. Let's go. Amos, how's it look? Wow. Out of doors and blast shells are shot to shit. I can't get a seal. We have to jet it out the cargo bay. Alright then. Damn it. Get these men to hold him. Under guard. Miller too? Leave him here. Hey! I don't want him anywhere near the prisoners. He won't be. Now get these people to hold him. The fuck? You shouldn't even be on this station! Hey, hey, did something you need to get off your chest there? Get in here, man! Oh, shit. Dozens of ships leave here every day. Pick one, and I'll get you on it. It's time for you to go. Wow. No. Really? I knew that Jim would be mad. I did not know Jim would be that mad. Jim is fucking done. So I'm dipped in shit right now. Oh no. This shit is permanent. Captain doesn't want you around anymore. We don't want you around either. Oh dear. You keep picking fights with the wrong people. Not too shabby, right? And since Fred's picking up the tab until the roast is livable, I figured we'd order a lot of room service. People died. We nearly died. And Miller just... He got you out of Eris alive. He shot an unarmed man right in the head. An unarmed mass murderer. <laughs> Fair point. Are you defending him? Uh, you can't understand. The only thing he was out for was revenge. 
Yeah. No, he cared about all of us. We had Dresden. He was going to talk. We could have used them. We could have what? Worked out a deal with a man who casually murdered countless belters. A man who was a threat to all human life. And that is why Miller shot him. He didn't have the right to make that decision. But you do. What I have to do now is clean up his mess. Wow. Hey. Guys, I'm a, I'm a little busy here. Hey, you killed the biggest dick in the universe, but right now. We make a big party for you. You're a hero, man. No, don't say that. Hey, don't say that. We want to space out them prisoners, too, but the big man say no. Ooh, you electric. I like you. Mm, you wouldn't know what to do. You're going to need that zap for your heart after Diogo. Please. Oh, oh shit, Miller, you ain't got no script. Ah, come, come. You stay with me. Yeah. You're one of us now. No, no, no. <laughs> this way, this way. That one just missed puncturing your reactor, see? You guys would have melted instantly. Okay. Most ships would have been blown to scrap after that kind of beating. Yeah, well, not the Rossi. I'm actually impressed as hell you were able to make it back here. You're a Martian, right? You still got people there? They think I'm dead. I went down on the Donager. Died a hero. So is the Rossi gonna be okay or what? Don't worry. We're gonna treat her like one of our own. Yay! In the meantime, you look like you could blow off some steam. Pa <laughs> <laughs> Those are the survivors. Mostly wow. low level tech and security types, with the exception of that one. He has to know more about the proto molecule than anyone else. Not more than Dresden. We got ID scans for the whole lot of them. The last two years are completely blank for everyone. But before that, they all work for the same company, Protogen. It's an Earth-based biotech contractor with facilities throughout the system, including the one destroyed on Phoebe. Get in there. Oh, shit! This should be an interesting conversation. Yeah! Oh my god, this is so weird! We need more real dust-eating Martians. Too many Earthers as it is. Oh, All right. shut up. I see the way y'all look at me. Like I don't belong here. No one's questioning your patriotism. Simmer down there, cowpoke. You know something? I earned my iron, Hilly. Your family just bought your way into the core. That's enough. Go fetch. really bad for that guy. Paolo Cortazar, you were a member of a team studying errors. I'm a specialist. Nanoinformatics. You're gonna have to answer for it. The genocide on Eros. Or you can work with us. I understand you grew up in Lindrina on basic. That must have been hard. I can't imagine what it must have been like watching your mother die. Type C hunting this disease is just so ungodly cruel. Is that why you went to work for Protogen? To find a cure? To keep others from going through what she went through? Ah! Uh. Her brain was fried. She didn't think anything was wrong with her. Even when the drool was hanging from her lip for hours on end until it crusted to her chin, or she fell off the toilet while taking a piss, she just kept going. So, what a bad way to die. Actually. Dresden is gone. You don't have to answer to him anymore. If he were here, I'd thank him. He made me what I am today. That guy is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Now run the sim from the beginning. Go back one minute. Run it again. He's still going. Still trying to perfect it. I 
all over the place. I feel good. <laughs> it's been a while. Come on, we should hydrate with some beers. <laughs> I want to hang out with them. Coming out of arrows, we make it here, but it come from there. It's sink. You're telling me that those sounds are coming off the arrows? Hottest beats maker on Tycho. Mad OBA pirate too. She jacked a cryptid data stream off this station we kill, but it come from the arrows. Turn it off. Those belters you're jamming to, dead. We're dying. Or worse. That's why it's our anthem, Papa. A call to war. You know, when those enters, they figure out what's on arrows, they kill every last one of us to get it. Us? Belters. Beltaloda. This is feeling a little bit like something fucking awful is about to happen. The neurons in his right temporal parietal junction have been impeded. Faulty wiring? Uh, well, he wasn't born this way. He was altered. Probably transcranial magnetic hyperstimulation. Part of his temporal lobe has been effectively erased. Which part? The part that governs empathy. You can do that with a magnet? I've only read about the procedure. It's not that simple, but it's not complicated either. It's non-invasive. So someone waves a magnet at the right side of my head and... Suddenly, I can watch 100,000 people die in agony and not give a shit. I've checked the other prisoners. It's been done to all of them. Shit. How do you reach a guy like that? Threaten to kill him. Surely that's it, isn't it? Can you tell me how Private Travis ended up with a fractured orbital? Sir, did you ask Private Travis, sir? Don't give me that, Gunny. Are we gonna just keep eating shit from Earth, or are we gonna take them out and end this? What does that have to do with one of my sergeants assaulting a pride? We can only get slapped around for so long before it boils out one way or another. Current appearances to the contrary, he is one of the toughest dusters I've served with. Just stick up for him better, please. The sooner we have it out with Earth, the better. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. We're not going to Earth. We've been ordered to Ganymede Station to secure the food supply. Farm Patrol. Sir, now you and your team will carry out your orders with pride and dedication, befitting soldiers of the Martian Republic. Are we clear, Gunny? Yes, sir. Dismissed. Oh, fuck. Pauls, just before we go on, I, oh, it's really pissing me off that they're being so cruel to the Martian who just happens to be an immigrant from Earth. It is... It, it, it's making me feel exactly how I feel in, in normal life, where people are just pathetic like that and like, oh, no, oh, you come from Tom Tom, oh, you're a dickhead. It's just like, oh, grow up. Grow up. There's a, that guy is not responsible for the decisions of that person over, over there who they've never met. Oh. Anyway, play. Right, the guy. Is this what I hope it is? A secure channel to Fred Johnson? Yes. Despite the satisfaction it will give me to see you arrested. All you need to tell me is that it can't be traced and that the message will get... Right now, this is just a bad idea. But you hit send, and it's treason. If I do nothing, millions could die. Please give it to me and go. There is no need for us to hang together. Oh, I'm sure they'll hang us separately. <laughs> You'll get a better view. Colonel Johnson, I'm Christian Abbasarala. The things I've blamed on you, those words were lies. A facade to protect myself. 
Because you were right. I'm asking you for help. I need evidence. Anything I can use to turn the guns of Earth and Mars away from each other before it's too late. If you have any cards left in your hand, the time to play them is now. Wow. I never thought I'd see the day. The scientist. I think I got something she can use. You spaced a Black Sky faction leader because they put a hit out on that woman. If they learn that you're helping her, the OPA will put a hit out on you. Well, then I guess it's gonna have to be our little secret then, huh? Shit. He's still just working away. I was on Eros. I saw Julie Mal. Have a seat. In that hotel room, there was madness. And it stank of sick death. And there was a puddle, blue-brown slime in the center of the bed, and it smeared down across the floor. She must have dragged herself like a dying animal. Blue-brown, metabolic excretions. And she was sitting on the shower floor, blue barnacles jutting out of her mouth out of her body, snaking out of her hair, growing up against the walls. Dead. Beautiful. Beautifully dead. Not dead. Becoming. I don't know why, I just keep feeling like we're gonna see Julie Mao in some form. I think it's because they kept showing her. I would just always get suspicious when we keep going back to a body and Dresden's point about she got a gift. You know, she encountered this thing and I was angry in the moment. I thought I thought where he was going with that was, God, she was so blessed and she fucked it all up and that's what I was angry about. But, I mean, another reading of that could be she's going to become something from having hosted the organism. That would be freaky as fuck. I kind of hope that happens. The barnacles? An expression of pattern matching system. Lattices that mimic beta sheets and expand on them, but capable of control systems like brain tissues, two stage pumps adapted from hearts, and at the very center, a particle nothing leads to, like a seed crystal what? that requires and provides a massive amount of energy. That's why she smashed the lights and the screens. She was trying to take away his power source. Did it work? Was it still moving? I know what it looks like. Tell me! What was it doing? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, Mormons. The senior sign outside says we know where we're going. I think maybe I know where I need to go now, too. What would make you positive? Well, why don't you tell me a little bit more about your journey? I was born into this, but I've never doubted it. No, no, no. I mean, the big one. Now, nah, who? Have you ever talked to a pedophile? Uh oh. We try to ask them stuff, and they're not gonna just talk about raping little kids, but if you show them pictures of kids, then they'll go on and on and on. I had a private chat with Cortazar, and Eros is his pedophilia. You were talking about stopping it, taking it away. That's why he wouldn't help you. That's Phoebe Station. I was there. That's the Martian science team. You infected them and watched them die. We watched it work. The protomolecule is the first evidence of a tree of life apart from our own. It got out on the Anubis. I saw the results. You did. What did it do? Killed everyone aboard. <laughs> Obviously. The more biomass you feed it, the faster it learns, the more it changes. So you fed it, Eros. A whole station and 100,000 people. 100,000 opportunities. We can only learn by letting it learn. Can you? control it. I'd need my data. 
and everything coming off Eros. That's the only way I can tell you more. The cylinder will be sealed, and after the initial acceleration, the body will begin to spin. All this will be farmland. Shit. Some felt that taking entire families on a journey that their grandchildren wouldn't see the end of was inhuman. Well, I've seen inhuman, and this ain't it. This is our temple. You're welcome here. We can offer you salvation. Boy, it sounds like just what I need. dreams that Dresden was collecting is coming directly from Eros. It's new. Give it to me. Are those people talking? Not people. Pulses. Steady like a clock. No. Counting down. Come down to what? What? Building something. Building what? We're going to find out. Oh shit! What's happening? Something happening on Eros. The proto molecule is building something, and we don't know what. How? We got one of the prisoners to cooperate. There are words in the data stream. Voices. People talking. But we saw what happened to Julie Mao. Are you saying those people are still alive? The only person who can answer that is dead. I want to see this immediately! Eros isn't over yet, and I know I can't do it without you. We'll do it together. Good, and I don't want to hear any more of that Earther bullshit from you lot ever again. We're building up to something. I take it this means you know where you want to go? Eros. What? Something real bad is going on down there. Yeah, we know. The Dresden was going to get away with it. And I didn't kill him because he's crazy. I killed him because he was making sense. Mm. Any idea how we can take out a whole asteroid? Yeah. With that. Excuse me? Oh my god. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. So Miller did what I thought he did, which was killed Dresden because if he'd have spoke for much longer, people would have been selling out their morals. And he knew what was morally right. And before he had that fucked with, he just put Dresden down 
Okay. Vasarala has made contact with Fred. And Fred trusts her. And has said that he knows something that he can give her. So I'm really interested in finding out what card he is going to play next. Because there are a few. I love the fact that Amos worked out exactly how to speak to the scientist. That was really clever. That actually you kind of have to meet him at his level and give him something to work with because his interest at this point is only in developing his understanding of the protein molecule. So if you can give him an opportunity to do that, then he's quite happy to talk. And he said some interesting things, but I have felt that throughout this process that there was something like, I've never been sure that they just killed, that the thing just killed the host. And now we've got all these voices chatting away. And the scientist's like, it's a countdown, it's building up. What is gonna, what is gonna happen? And now they're in, in, in a horrible situation because now they're gonna, they're on the verge of committing a genocide. Because ultimately, if they, if they destroy Eros now, that's like a preemptive strike. So if the 100,000 people are all actually alive and changed, they're now about to potentially kill 100,000 beings on the same premise that we have a feeling this something really, really bad is going to happen. And that's the point. Once you've got it in your mind that something really, really bad is going to happen, it's like, think about it. Ha now, if they say, let's just blow up Eros, I was not in a moral quandary. I was like, fuck it, blow it up. Because they've got me all afraid. I am going to have to watch the next episode today. I can't wait. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll just, I'll just deal with it. If I really want to watch an episode after four, I'll just watch the next one tomorrow. Um, oh, my God. This fucking show, though. Oh, I also liked... Um, Seeing like Naomi and um, I've not got her name down yet, but the, sort of Fred second in command playing um, sports ball. That was really cool. And also just like hanging out and dancing about. But it gave me an awful feeling, like a sinking feeling of like everyone is far too happy and having far too much fun. I'm now very concerned about Naomi, but we'll find out where it goes from here, won't we? So thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this reaction. I fucking loved every minute of this episode and I can't wait to see where we go from here. So until next time, bye-bye.